In this clip, we will look at updating some extensions in Joomla 4. I've already installed some old versions of extensions that we commonly use onto a fresh install of Joomla 4 so we can see what potential issues there could be whilst updating. Okay, so let's take a look at what information Joomla will give us when we log in. As soon as we log in, we can see that there are four updates available and a download key is missing. It will also give us information if we go to the system tab at which point it's telling us, again, that we've got four extensions that need to be updated. So let's go to the extension update page. We can do this on the system page by clicking on our extensions updates, or if we're on the home dashboard page, we can also click where it says updates are available. So looking on the Joomla 4 update screen, we can notice that there are a few differences to what we used to see on Joomla 3. In particular, we do not have to clear cache or to find updates. Now we just have a single check for updates button. So we click on that and it comes back with the results. Now, as we can see, it is giving us a warning straight away saying that one of our extensions requires a download key. This is something that has been brought in relatively recently to Joomla, whereby extension creators can give you update keys for your subscriptions so that they can be automatically updated on this page. This can be seen in the first extension here, where we have the red download keys missing in the professional version of admin tools. We've also installed a keeper backup Cookies Policy Notification Pro and JCE 2.9.24. So all of these are wanting to be updated to the latest versions. So let's click on the check all items and update and see what happens. So as we can see, we've had quite a few different messages coming back telling us different things. So let's have a look further down to see how many updates have actually been applied. The two professional versions, both of which require subscriptions, have not been updated. If we go back up to the top and have a look at the messages, then we can see how these relate to them. So Web357 is the one that's used for cookies policy notification, and it's telling us that the API key has not been set, and therefore it can't update it. The second one is telling us about admin tools and again it's also requesting for a download key and then the final one is just related to the second message saying that it failed to download the package and as we can see in the middle here it is relating to the cookies policy notification. We have two options as to how we could update these extensions. The first and best option would be to go onto the websites of the extension creators and get the download key and put it into the relevant extensions. The second option is to download the latest package from the extension creators website and install it manually. This is what we have done. So we just go to extensions and then using the upload package file, install the latest version of the two extensions that need to be updated. Now if we go back to system, we get a tick next to the update extensions and on the home dashboard it says the extensions are up to date, although it is still telling us that a download key is missing. Let's just go to the extensions update page, run the check for updates again and just make sure that it has done it. And there we have it, a good extension will be easy to update. If you do have any problems with updating extensions, then we'd recommend that you talk to your IT company or your web development company or contact the extension creators directly.